In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you four options car racing infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have made this race track completely in PowerPoint. I put the finish line, this checkered line here, and then I have added four tracks. And then here, some greenery has been added with, uh, you can see here with the dividers. So let me just show you how it works. When I click, you can see here the first car comes with the sound effect, and then you can add the option one here the title and the detail text and you can add your own icon here and when i click the second car comes you can see here with the green color then the third and the fourth you can see here with different color combination i've chosen so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the the tracks if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to support my channel you can contribute to through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial to make this uh, slide i'm going to use a image which was done in adobe illustrator you can see here this is the top view of the car image so i'm just going to select this one right mouse click go to format picture i can give some shadow effect for this all right and then depending on my requirement i can increase or decrease the size so i can just hold the shift key so that i can just make the size maybe this much size and then depending on the requirement i can just duplicate maybe four or five now let me just duplicate this or you can just do it by uh, holding the control shift key together you can see here i'm just adding one more here again control shift hold it and release it hold it and release it so i've got four uh, cards here now if you want to change the color of the car so you can just select the car you can just go to the format you can just see the colors here and whatever the available colors i can just choose it here or you can just go to colors more variants and then choose any color of your choice you can see here and i'm just going to more and maybe i'm just going to choose maybe a red color so i've got four different colors all right so maybe this one also i want to just change it uh maybe say a green color so i've got four colors now uh, we have to make sure that the the gap between these uh, should be equal so i'm just going to select all of this then go to format you can just go to align and just distribute horizontally so there's equal spacing is there now and now if you want to add one a checkered line or a finished line uh, let me just do it first so i'm just going to insert shapes i'm going to select one uh, rectangle draw a rectangle maybe this much size make sure it is a uh, square so i'm going to hold the shift key and then shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to give some gray color and duplicating this press ctrl d and i'm going to just give a white color so white color is not visible so let me just change the background color of the slide to some light color all right so it is visible now now i'm just going to put it here make sure that there's no gap here let me just put it all right and then i'm just going to select this both of this press ctrl d to duplicate and then i'm just adding this one so here this one i'm going to make the color the gray color here all right which is uh, this gray color and this one i'm going to make it white color here all right now i'm going to select both of these all these four press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate so depending on the requirement how much line or required i can just duplicate so let me just put it here press ctrl d you can see here let me just make sure that it is properly aligned ctrl d you can see here i'm just keep on adding it one by one all right and then i'm just going to select all of these let me just zoom out i'm going to select all of this and press ctrl g it becomes one here it doesn't matter if it is goes outside also again if if you want to uh, make the size smaller you can just hold the shift key and then you can just reduce the size also all right i'm just going to place it here and then go to format send this to back so this is my finish line and if you like to add a few more 
shapes like one more rectangle the line I want to add it here all right this one shape fill I'm going to make it white shape outline make it no outline and press ctrl D to duplicate add one more at the bottom you can see here and then this also send this two back so now what happens here now I want to add the text for each uh, car okay for that I'm going to insert shapes select the rectangle I'm going to draw the rectangle according to the width of the car okay make sure that it should not go beyond that one shape outline make it no outline and shape fill I'm going to give the same color which is green and then I'm just going to send this to back all right so you can see here let me just reduce it a little bit or you can hold the alt key also you can just reduce it okay and then press ctrl d to duplicate i'm just bringing it here all right so this color maybe i'm going to choose the blue color again send this to back press ctrl d this one would be a purple ctrl d this would be a red color all right so again select both of these and send this to back all right just make sure that it is properly aligned all right so now the the rectangles are ready it's time to put the text so i'm going to insert text box and i'm just going to type 01 you can just choose any font i'm going to choose oswald oswald by default it is not uh, installed you have to install it okay or you can choose any font which is available on your powerpoint so let me just make it white press or control shift key together you can see here i'm holding the control shift key together i'm just make, bringing it one here again release it and again release it you can see here so now i'm just going to make this as two this is three let me just delete this three and this is four four and let me just align it properly so that it is center aligned all right so this is done now it's time to add the title i'm just going to add the title title here again this also i'm going to make it uh, oswald white font make it bold and then text direction i'm just going to say rotate all text 270 degrees and then just make it center aligned and put it here you can see here and then you can add some detailed text i'm just saying add detail text here let me just center align again text direction i'm going to make it same all right and then make it white font and then i'm just going to place it here let me just reduce the size you can see here let me just align it properly and then both of these i'm selecting press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm just moving it here you can see here something like this and then you have to just make sure that it is properly aligned so i'm just going to select the title format align top you can see here this also i'm going to align it top align top all right and then if you're using the latest version of powerpoint you can just simply add some icons so i'm just going to randomly select some icons so i'm just going to select one two maybe uh, three and four click insert bring the other side and i'm going to make it as 0.4 maybe the height and width and the color i'm going to choose it white and then let me just put it one by one here you can see here i'm just bringing it and later on you can just align also and the last one is here all right so with this we have completed the basic design and again if you want to add some lines here you can go to insert shapes line and i'm in between i'm just going to add the line hold the shift key so that you get a perfect straight line shape outline make it white and shape width i'm just going to increase it you can see here and then shape outline 
I'm going to make it dash this one dotted here, right? If you feel that this is very light color, you can just increase the color so that it looks more uh, clear, okay? So press Ctrl D to duplicate. I'm just going to add one more here. Ctrl D, okay? So you can see here, just align it properly. Now once this is done, I'm just going to select this rectangle, the text without the car and press Ctrl G to group it. You can see here I'm just selecting only this one, Ctrl G or I can just select one by one, hold the shift key and then you need to select one by one like this. So it's a time consuming job but if you feel easy, you can just do it or whichever way you feel comfortable. So now let me just go to format and send this to back. All right, and these cards, I'm going to select one by one and I have to bring it to front, okay? Bring to front. So with this, we have completed the basic design. And again, if you want some more design, some uh, greenery or whatever, you can just simply add it here. So let me just show you some red boundaries, which I'm going to make it. So shape, select a rectangle, draw a rectangle, maybe this much size, shape, outline make it no outline shape fill make it red press ctrl d to duplicate and shape fill make it white let me just zoom in and then just bring it at the bottom of this you can see here and then this one i'm just going to move it here all right and then press ctrl or press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate and then just add it one by one you can see here something like this and then I'm just going to select all of this, all right, and press Ctrl G to group it. And then if you want, you can just give some shadow effect here, all right, and then hold the Ctrl Shift key together and then add one more to this side also, all right. And then if you want to add some kind of a greenery or a lawn or whatever you can call it. So I'm just going to make it here, shape outline, no outline, shape fill. I'm going to use, give some dark green color and then send this to back. And again, control D to duplicate. And then this side also, I'm going to increase because the size is not uniform. Make sure that it is uniform, both the sides, but anyway. So you can see here, uh, our design is ready. Now it's time to add the animation. To add the animation, go to the animations, enable the animation pane. First select the car and I'm going to say fly in. You can see here fly in comes from bottom, something like this. So double click. And if you want to adjust something, you can adjust and timing also depending on your requirement. And here, if you want to give some sound effect, for example, I want to just give a sound effect, which is maybe a push kind of thing and click OK. So you can see here this sound comes something like this and for this also I'm going to give the same animation which is the fly in all right and this should happen with previous okay so let me just play and see how it looks when I click you can see here it is coming together so now it's very easy I'm just going to uh, click the animation painter click on this one then again I'm going to select the animation painter for this okay and again this one you can see here uh, I'm just using the animation painter and the last one this one so our animations are ready now let's try it on the slideshow the first car you can see here uh, second third and fourth and if you want you can just add some finish line or whatever so this is simplest way you can do it or if you want you can just change the uh the speed also so that the first should come first and the second should come third like that so you can do a lot of different uh, 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 designs or different uh, animations for this